it's Brady and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another eBay sourcing haul where I show you all of the things that we picked up at a yard sale, thrift store, Goodwill, garage sale, flea market, anywhere we go to find inventory. We actually went out on Sunday just to take out to get Jordan's dance pictures done and on the way home I said go down Wise Avenue. It's a street that normally has like yard sale signs galore. So we went ahead and went down there and I saw that there was a sign to a nearby apartment complex and we pulled up and there was a bunch of people like set up kind of like a community yard sale but they were all cleaning up and I saw this one specific lady she had a stack of bras and I have them all with me but a stack of bras like this big and he said it just looks like bras to me I'm like go ahead and park let's see what they have so I told the lady that we were going to go ahead and make a pile and then we'll go from there so as our pile grew I eventually looked at Rick and I kind of signed you know 200 just because that was going to be our top number and I'm really glad that it didn't work out to be that much so she kind of looked at me and was like well what do you think about 130 and of course I played cool guys inside I was like jumping for joy but I played cool and I was like well yeah, I guess we could do that. That seems fair. And I know she would have went lower, but honestly, I got a lot of new with tags items and I would have felt really guilty leaving there, you know, giving her less money. But let's go ahead and jump in. I'm really excited. The only thing that I'm bummed about, and I did give her my cell number, so I hope that she texted me. She had a pair of bear claw boots that I thought were in here, but I didn't actually get them. So maybe she misunderstood that I did want them or I'm not sure, but if she texts me, I'm definitely going to pick them up because she said she has a bunch of other stuff that we could buy as well so I'm really excited to make a new friend in this eBay world sorry for my babbling let's go ahead and jump in I got a ton of clothes a bunch of new attacks things but I did get some shoes too so let's start here pair of Uggs I couldn't believe it now they are kids size one but they're brand new guys they're just these pretty pink with like some shimmery rhinestone Uggs and they are brand new. So yeah, I mean these alone are like almost worth it with one other thing. I'll tell you what, I'm really excited. But happy to have these brand new Uggs. And then the next thing, they're actually in a coach box. But they are Badgley Mishka. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, Badgley Mishka. And they're really cute. Look at these. And these are brand new as well. Now they do have the Nordstrom Rack sticker. So Nordstrom Rack was selling them for $74. And it looks like they were compared at $200. But they're super pretty. I've never sold Badgley Mishka before. So I'm excited to have that in our inventory. Of course we just got this stuff this week. So I haven't photographed it yet. The next okay. pair is also Coach. Nice little Coach box here. Now these ones are slightly worn. You can see there's just a little bit of dirt on there. But I'm going to go ahead and wash that off. And she did point out that one of the bows here has some discoloration. I don't know if you can see that little bit but nonetheless they're still super cute and these are great for summer exactly the time that I have them now now this pair here they're just some Fila Skeletos we weren't going to get but she told me just to throw them in and she was fine with that so it really helps to have the boxes but they're just the purple Fila Skeletos and they're the shoes that have like the running toes now I mean these aren't going to sell for super amounts of money because originally they actually were just $69. Yeah, so originally full price, they're $69. So it's not like we're going to sell them for a whole bunch, but they are slightly used and I'm happy to have them. Oh, one more little pair of shoes without a box are these gold Sperry's. She had like a rose gold pair, but all down here was really stained up. And I just didn't think that it would be worth getting it out. I really wish I had those bear claw boots to show you guys. The comps on them were going like 200, 150, so I'm definitely gonna try to get those. Now a couple other accessories that we have is this coach hat here. I just can't believe I got all of this stuff for $130. I'm so happy and you know, we did, we weren't planning to go yard selling. Like we really weren't, we were just kind of driving through and those are the best sales to get. The ones where you were not seeking them out. So it's super cute and you can see the inside. It's very cute. 
and all of her stuff is 100% authentic. And then I got two coach belts. So this one's just a classic black with the little buckle. And it has the coach design. And then this one also has the bigger C's with more of a leather and then the butterfly. And she said that she had two more, but she did sell them. Like I said, we didn't get there until around noon. Probably around, yeah, like 12, 12.30 in the afternoon. So they were all cleaning up. And the other vendors, they really didn't have anything for us. But I was shocked she had all of this stuff left. All right, so we do have two more little uh, accessories, which actually are going to my mom. But they are by Coach. My mom ended up buying these from us for $25 a piece. So they are these new with tags. They are Coach little ascots for around your neck and like i said she's buying these 25 a piece so we have already made back 50 dollars of the 130 so i'm just so excited about that and then the second one is it's just a black coach with a little bit of sequins they're so cute. I think I'm going to share these on the Instagram after I film this video. I'm really excited. I love finding stuff like this, like to resell and just in general, like to even like sell to my mom or just to have for my kids or I just love yard sales. I love yard sale season. It's so much fun. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. I got a ton of Victoria's Secret stuff, so I'm going to run through the bras first, and then I'll get to the clothing and the 90s. Right, out of all of these bras, they all look like they're brand new, but only one has a tag on it. So we have the Victoria's Secret. Let's see how I could show these. So it's just the gray one, and they're all like sporty kind of bras and these are the bras that we saw when we were pulling up and we were like oh man they might be like walmart here's a pink leopard and this one is new with tags and the original price was 32 dollars. maybe it would be better if i show you guys upside down there we go and then we got this one here another little sports bra it's so pretty and then it has the vsx on the back so excited Oh, I also got a little pink dog, and he has the tag on him, too. We actually sold one of these before. This one's happy pink. Yeah, happy pink. We sold one of these before for close to 20 bucks, so we'll let him go as well. Then we have this purple one. So the reason why she had all of this stuff, she was an older woman. Her daughter recently lost a lot of weight. And just didn't need this anymore and that's when we get to the clothes you guys are going to see there are like some size 12s some size 14s of like j crew and brands that i love to find so she said that she's much smaller now so i'm excited to see what else they will put together for us she did say that she had some more of the bear claw boots like the big fuzzy ones so i'm curious to see if we can get some of those and maybe some ugg boots she said here is a nice turquoise teal or a, like an aqua green. Very nice. Then the last bra that we have is this one. And again, it is Victoria's Secret. I mean, just a ton of bras. I mean, this is, this is incredible. Oh, so excited. All right, let's get on to the 90s. There are a couple pieces that I don't know what goes with with, with what, or if it even has a pair. But this here did not have a pair. It's a Victoria's Secret bathing suit bottom, and it does have the tag, and this was $30 originally. See, I'm loving that. And here's another one of our loners. It's cute. It has the tag on it, but it does say it was part of a two-piece, and we only have one piece. So this is the front. They're like little boy shorts, and then a nice pretty bow. It's a pale pink, so it's really on trend for right now. And then here's another guy. This does not have a tag, and it doesn't have a pair. So they're just some shorts with a little bit of lace on the side. And then this here, it was pretty interesting. I think this was it. Yeah, it's Pout by Victoria's Secret. So, part of my nails. Yeah, Pout. And it's just a sheer kind of heart pajama top. This was a Victoria's Secret pink skirt. And it's pretty fluffy. Like, it has some serious fluff to it. 
thought that was cute. And then here's another Victoria's Secret pink shirt. I'll just have to look it up and make sure that it's, is this pajamas? Is it just a shirt? You know, I don't know. I know that Victoria's Secret tends to do good on Posh as well. Now this guy is new with tags and it says that it went for $24. Nice little brown top. This one is new with tags as well. And this would sold for $48. And it's just Victoria's Secret, not pink. But it's just a black little nighty. But the back is like a sheer lace. Very nice. Okay, so this is a set here. Does it have the tag on it? No, and this does not have the tags. But it's just a pink lace sorry i'm showing you guys all this underwear but we happen to find it so i wanted to share you share it so we got that top and it did have a thong but i don't know if i'll have to really go over them but from the looks of it everything's really nice and clean so i don't know if i'm gonna include the underwear in it or not um we got this one look how cute that is it's just pink and hearts and very pretty and slinky and this is victoria's secret pink I know pink is really popular. Um, this was another set, and this one is new with tags still. And this one sold for $48. So it has really pretty, like, dainty lace sleeves. Really cute detailing. And then with that, you get the little boy shorts with the little red bow. Super cute. We're almost done with the... The lingerie stuff. Here's just a pink t-shirt. This was one of the things that I wasn't going to get. And she was like, just take it. <laughs> so it's a nice V-neck t-shirt. And then we have this new with tag. This was $36.50. It's a Love Pink Be Mine shirt. It says Love Pink on the back. Like a baseball kind of top. I can't believe all this Victoria's Secret stuff. It's insane. This one is new with tags too, and this sold for $24.50. And it's just a two for 40 mix and match dress. So super cute. And it's a bigger size. What size is this? Yeah, that's a large, which I don't know if you guys know, but in the pink store at the mall, they do not go above a size large. If you want something bigger than that, you have to go online, and then it's really hard. To get the size here's a workout tank top it does have the bra inside it's nice it's by victoria's secret x so that's one of the workout lines and it has the little pocket on the back all right we are getting there here is another set this is not new um it's a nice little cotton it looks like rose nighty top and then again, it does have the underwear and the back of the underwear say, up all night. Whatever that means. I think I'm a little too old for that. Okay, so this guy here is super cute. It's a nighty top. Like a corset with the little lace down there. And then it did come with some underwear as well. So... I mean, can you call that underwear? I don't really know. I'm not going to get into that. And then the last pair of pink or Victoria's Secret are these pink workout shorts. They're really cute. I like these a lot. And they say pink on the side or love pink. Yeah. So those are super cute. So the last few things that we have are just items that were not Victoria's Secret pink, but I really liked that she had. First is this necktie. It is all of the football teams, and it is by the Team NFL Company. So I thought that this was cute, and come football season, a football lover would definitely love to have that. And then I did get some Old Navy stuff, because you know Old Navy, Old Navy is near and dear to my heart. But just a basic pair of Old Navy khakis, shorts. She has, she had just so many great things. She had a lot of Michael Kors stuff. I'm just, we don't really like getting Michael Kors. I mean, she even had a brand new with tags 3X, um, like a big coat, like a pea coat, Michael Kors. She had a woman's jumpsuit that was Michael Kors. I'll have to see what she wants for it and maybe, maybe we'll get it. I'm not sure. 
So this is kind of like a cute, it's not, it's like a no brand. I think it's premise dresses, but I thought for 4th of July, somebody would really like this, this dress. So I wanted to go ahead and pick it up, even though it didn't have a specific brand. As far as I know, I didn't look it up yet. This is a J. Crew. Oh, okay. This is the um, dry cleaning. I was going to flip. I thought it was new with tags. But it is a J. Crew size 14 halter dress, like a corset dress. It is so cute. We are not going to have any problem selling this thing. J. Crew is extremely popular, especially those bigger sizes. This shirt is from Aeropostale and kind of the same thing. Um, it is off of the movie Pretty Little Liars. You can see the little logo there. But it's an extra large and I got it for 4th of July. It's nice and sheer. I figured somebody for 4th of July would love to wear that. And then we have this Black House, White House Black Market skirt. Again, it is the bigger sizes here. I mean, not too big, but you know what I mean. I don't think it's, oh, size 12. So it is White House Black Market size 12. Okay, here's something I was really excited about. It does kind of go with the 4th of July thing as well. It is a True Religion shirt. Kind of looks like a bandana, but the best part, look at that. Oh my goodness. Look, it has the True Religion tag. I love this. And it was $129 in stores. So yeah, this, we are not going to have any problems getting rid of this top. Can you believe it? This shirt right here in the stores cost as much as I paid for all of this stuff that I'm showing you. Like, that blows my mind. Next, we have another halter kind of cute dress from Hollister. And it is a size large. So it has this little top and then some, it's hard to show you, but yeah, the bottom is really frilly and like fluffy. Sorry, my neighbor's cutting the grass. I just finished cutting the grass for us, me and my neighbor, and then he weed whacks it. So you may hear my neighbor weed whacking. Next are these shorts. They're just Levi's, but again, with the stars, the big size, these are size 13 and they are super short. Fourth of July is very soon, so we have got to get things for Fourth of July. This Old Navy shirt I got just because it is the boyfriend style. So I thought that that was cute, just a size small. Man, I really hope she texts me. I want those bar claw, those bear claw boots so bad. Here's a pair of Old Navy polka dot capris. We just sold a pair like this in the color red, so I was happy to have these. And then the last item that we had from that haul are these. They are just, I think they're by Levi's or LEI or something. It's not a huge brand, but I know that this is a bigger, yeah, LEI. So it's not anything like couture or super fashionable, but it is a size 14 and they are overalls shorts and camo so there's so many different variables here we have overalls which are so popular camo which makes it a print and sought after shorts and a bigger size so excited to have these i'm really pumped about this haul i couldn't wait to show you guys everything that we got i mean the fact that she said 130 dollars i was so excited to be honest for the shoes the accessories and the bras alone we probably would have paid 100 130 dollars but we already got back 50 bucks for my mom like i said for her little ascot um scarves but anyway i hope you guys have had a great weekend and a great start to your week if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe before you leave i would love to have you don't forget to follow us over on instagram i try to upload to the store's instagram show you items that we find ask questions share our sales and so much more so don't forget to do that and i will see you all in my next video